Hey everyone, for today's episode of Stationery Store Tour, I'm taking you with me to Brooklyn, New York and having a look inside Yoseka Stationery at Greenpoint. It was my first time visiting the store and recently I actually did a couple of workshops over at the shop so I wanted to take you inside as well and have a look in store. Personally, I love looking at stationery shops and also getting to see a lot of behind the scenes that goes with it. So I'm very grateful that Daisy and Neil invited me over and inside Yoseka is a lot of beautiful things. Not just with the products that they put out but also the decor and putting together everything into the storefront. I feel like every single detail was well thought of and also it's very easy to find what you're looking for especially if you are new to stationery or are looking for something very specific. I personally like the little corners that highlight Yoseka's special projects as well as little details and they have this museum where they actually have a cabinet of, I like to think it's like a cabinet of curiosities and it's just really nice to see everything together in the shop. If you're planning to visit New York, make sure to stop by Yoseka Stationery. Actually, initially, when I first discovered Yoseka, it was in 2018, and they were still at their first shop in Sunnyside in Queens. I remember a friend had told me at the time that there was a shop called Yoseka, and I wanted to visit, and that was when I first met Daisy, and that was like five years ago, so it's so wonderful to see Yoseka grow into what it is now. I feel like I've been watching on the sidelines and we have been talking about um, collaborating for a really long time. So I'm so happy that this finally pushed through a um, few months ago. Well, last July. And also, it was so nice to finally visit the store here in Brooklyn. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the stationery store tour at Yoseka Stationery. Obviously, I had to get a couple of items from the shop. It was my first time at the Brooklyn store because the last time I went to Yoseka was still in the Sunnyside store, which was like five years ago. So let's get right into my mini haul. So the first thing I made sure to get was a fountain pen ink. So this one is called Jirtio, Jirtio, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Jirtio, so that Tio means autumn, and this is from Lennon Toolbar. I wanted to get something that's a bit very, a bit more 
on the orange side because I have way too many green inks. So I tested out a lot at the store because there was an ink station. Also, I'm opening it from the bottom because I didn't want to ruin this. I'm very clumsy. So I did get this really nice um, orangey brown shade. And it comes with these cards. Let me read it for you. Uh, it's 2022 Autumn Limited. The autumn has arrived long before the falling of maple leaves. If it was sometime earlier, you could see the valley covered by red leaves. If it comes sometime later, you can still enjoy the falling leaves dancing in the wind. So it pretty much has this um, orangey brown, but not dark brown color. So I'm looking forward to use this, especially in the fall. So ink done. Um, this one I actually didn't get from Yoseka, but I wanted to do a shout out to Daisy because we were talking about um, favorite stationery for a podcast that I interviewed Neil and Daisy for. And Daisy mentioned uh, the High Tide Password book. And I didn't see it in store, so I was like, okay, I did get this at another shop called McNally Jackson. It's a bookstore and they have a little stationery corner there. But Yoseka also has this, so I'll link it down below. I actually have my passwords in a Google, no, in an Apple Notes uh, lock note. And I thought like having one physical one would actually be useful for me because I'm such an analog person. And next year, I do plan to use an A6 for my projects, A6 size journal. So I'm going to definitely put this inside the same cover. And it's very handy, obviously. And obviously, you will not see a flip through of this password book when I do use it for obvious reasons. But yeah, it's very nifty. And shout out to Daisy because I told her I got a password book and she's like, oh, I influenced you. Like, yes, you basically did. Uh, before we continue on, I wanted to also show you um, the collab I did for Yoseka. So I did hold a couple of workshops, four workshops, and also visited the store. And we also did an Inside My Pen Case video if you haven't checked that out. So in line with that, I also designed um, a postcard. So as you can see here, this is um, Signs of New York. And Yoseka is obviously included. These are some of my favorite places in New York in general, like Strand is my favorite bookstore and so. And then you also have this uh, Yoseka vinyl sticker and it basically has the origin pen and Yuseka in um, in Chinese characters. Also, I just wanted to share that, yeah, I'm such a strand girly, so there. Anyway, moving on, I saw this while I was at the workshop and I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna put inside, but it's cute. And this is from the brand Nehe, actually, it's, is it high tide? I think it's also high tide. So I read about this the other day. So I do have the bigger envelope where you actually store journals and paper, but this one means near in German. And this one is just a cute little um, thing. I'd probably put it on my stationary pouch. Is it useful? Not really, but it's cute. And you can see I have a very um, green themed uh, hall over here in um, to, kind of like mimic Yoseka green. So I got this, it was very cute. So I was like, okay. And then this is probably the biggest thing that I got and I've, I've been eyeing this since it came out. So I've never used a Stalogy notebook. And if you're new to Stalogy, Stalogy is basically a Japanese brand and they make notebooks. And they're actually very popular for their 365 days notebook. And can we? Can you tell my nails also match this whole thing? Um, anyway, they collaborated with Yoseka. So this is uh, Yoseka Green Grid Edition. It's a 365 days notebook, A5, and it has a grid um, layout inside, four millimeters. So there are different types of Stalogy notebooks. They're also blank, dotted, grid, and half year ones. Half year is basically like half of this because this is a bit thick you um, take a look at it. So I decided to get one because it's limited edition and it's a collab. And I'm probably using it for 2024. No idea yet what for, but at the back you see there is a really nice uh, label of Yoseka stationery. I don't think it registers well on camera, but it's a bit more green in person. I'm trying to like, this is obviously greener, but this is like dark green. 
So it's very straightforward. It's also quite thin paper-wise and it has grid inside. So one of the key features also of Stalogy is it's undated. So you can actually um, encircle. It's very tiny though. You can definitely encircle the month and day if you're keen on marking those days through encircling them, but I'd probably use a stamp. And I think my personal favorite feature is the round corners. You can never go wrong with round corners. So I'm looking forward to definitely using this. I would probably use it more for um, writing, long form writing, just because I don't see myself filling this up and making the entire journal super chunky compared to my journal, The Diarist. The Diarist is like, 160 pages and this is 365 or oh, 368 so i don't really want to um overdo it and like fill it up so it will definitely be a mainstay in my uh on my desk for sure and for writing um now on to not hauls but some gifts that i got from yoseka i was so surprised when i went to happy hour and daisy handed me my own happy hour glass it's so pretty so this is designed by me who also works at yoseka hi me and it's so pretty so as far as i know this was um part of the freebies if you order all three pens the yoseka pens that they had collabed with sailor um i really love the design and i'm definitely putting it on my um display or probably use it for my own happy hour so as you can see there are two fountain pens super cute also this has traveled a lot like from new york to berlin to where i'm currently staying like my new place so also in berlin so yeah thank you so much yoseka team for sending this giving me this and also i did a shopkeeper day in yoseka and i did wear one of the aprons and i saw that they had these pins there and I was like, I, I don't think they're on there for sale. And I didn't want to ask, but um, Alex gave me these pins. She's like, I got you the pins. And I'm like, thank you so much. So this is the Yoseka stationery pin. Um, it's, the, it's basically their logo. And then this is like the characters that make up Yoseka. So I think this is the origin. Yo. I don't even know how to pronounce the middle one, but the last one is Tia. So you say Tia. Tia is like the first letter of the of the Chinese of Chinese characters, kind of. So I, I do know it a bit because we also like um, used it as a marker for our sections in school before. So as you can see, it also mimics the colors of the fountain pens that uh, Yoseka produced. So super pretty pins. I don't know where to put them yet. But yeah, I definitely have to store them and handle them with care. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Stationary Store Tour. So in the future, I will probably do a mix of Stationary Store Tours and Studio Tours. So do watch out for that. I'm definitely looking forward to um, meeting a few more folks from the creative community and journaling community and showing you around their creative spaces and let me know which ones you liked from my haul. I think this is my favorite and the Stalogy. And one more thing, I did also get the tote bag, but it's not with me. So I'm going to add a photo here so you can see it. I got a tote bag. And also, you can shop my items at yosekastationery.com. So that's washi tapes. And I think the zines will come out, will be restocked soon as well. And the Diarist Journal. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!